So, uh, what is up, guys? Uh, just in here, you know, ironing my clothes, and I figured now's a good time as any to record an intro to a video. So, today we're going to be taking a look at the Jurassic Park 3 React Attack uh, Ultra Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's, uh, it's in the back somewhere over there. But uh, yeah, I gotta, gotta iron my clothes. I'm currently in the process of moving out of my room because I'm getting ready to go off to college and my sister is taking over my current room. So I gotta organize that. So yeah, uh, just ironing my clothes and reviewing dinosaurs. That's what we're doing in today. So, um, let's get into this review. Hello! Dinosaur. All right, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Jurassic Park 3 Ultra T-Rex. So, hopefully you guys are excited. This has been a Rex that I've been wanting for quite a while, but I've just never been like wanting to pay the prices that it goes for, but I found one for really cheap on eBay and I got it and it is here in my collection. And it, uh, it had some issues. There was spider webs in its mouth. <laughs> so it had been sitting in a box or somewhere for a while. But I got it out and I got all the electronics working and this guy is beautiful. One of the most, just this presence it has. It reminds me of like Godzilla in the way it's got its tail posed. It's just a very, unique looking T-Rex. It's got a lot of fun gimmicks. And it's not called the Ultra T-Rex for nothing. There's been uh, four different versions of this guy. There's the original Jurassic Park 3 release, and then there was a, can't remember the store off the top of my head, but it's a slight recolor that was exclusive to one store. Then there's the Camo Extreme Canyon T-Rex, and then there's the Jurassic Park Dinosaurs one. So this guy's gotten some good love, but he has not been released in quite a long time. This is the original version. This toy is over 20 years old, which is really weird because Jurassic Park 3 is like a 2000s movie. But, you know, he still holds up pretty well. Some of the JP3 toys, they have some issues, but this is one of the standouts of the line, I'd have to say. Um get a look at this guy he's got a beautiful head sculpt one of the most t-rexy heads i've ever seen on an action figure it doesn't look like a jurassic park t-rex it just looks like a t-rex which i think is pretty cool you got some scuffing there though and the teeth are abysmal but you know move down you get a nice look at this flesh gore wound that also doubles as a speaker. You've got the JP3 logo. His tail curls up and the tail is like a softer plastic. A beautiful T-Rex. He has an awesome silhouette. So He's got painted claws. Which is uh, better than Mattel's doing right now. As far as articulation goes, this arm will move. This arm also moves, but it's tied to the action feature. And then the legs also have movement. As far as action features go, he has three different ones. He is a React Attack figure, so he's got the whole React Attack you know, a scheme where he can attack. You pull down his arm and he will roar. Pull 
little closer so if you can hear it better. And then he has the gore wound as well. Unfortunately, he has the exact same T-Rex roars that the smaller React Attack T-Rex has. I'd show it off, but unfortunately my React Attack Rex died, so it doesn't make the noise anymore, but I assure you it's the exact same noises. And then his third and final noise is he's got the iconic stomping. To see it does stop. So a very ultra T-Rex indeed. This one does scale a lot better as in movie size. Scales with the human figures in the line it would be about T-Rex size. There is a couple of big Spinosauruses but they'd be a uh, hella expensive so I haven't tracked them down but this guy is a very cool addition to the collection. If you want this T-Rex, I would recommend really any of the versions other than the second because it's just got a different shade of green. My personal favorite's got to be the Canyon T-Rex, but he's pretty pricey on eBay. So either go with this one, the Canyon or the Black T-Rex. They're just all very cool. And uh, let's compare this guy to some of my other Jurassic Park figures. Here it is with the uh, standard React Attack T-Rex. So he pretty big compared to this guy. Um, this figure is pretty bad in general, <laughs> but it's got some cool repaints that I may secure one day. But they're pretty much identical because they're supposed to be the T-Rex from Jurassic Park three. It's a little weird that they made such a big T-Rex toy for Jurassic Park three, seeing as it dies in the first half an hour so but you know kids like their dinosaur toys here it is next to a, a human figure from the jurassic park 3 toy line here it is with good old paul kirby and this scale is really nice with paul like the t-rex in the film was a juvenile but and this this would scale pretty well as a juvenile just with like any Jurassic figure, T-Rexes, so. Yeah, it's a T-Rex. And then here it is with a, a more modern figure. This is the uh, Scorpius Rex. It's the bigger one. And they're about the same size, I'd say. Um... So yeah, that's that's really all I've got to say about this T-Rex. Very happy it's in my collection. And I'd highly recommend it if you're a fan of the T-Rex or a fan of Jurassic Park 3. If you're not, then you could probably skip it as it is an older toy. And if you're just mainly focusing on Mattel stuff, focus on that. But this is a great T-Rex and it would make an awesome centerpiece for any Jurassic Park 3 shelf. Let's conclude. There goes the glucose alarm. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Uh, sorry for the lack of direct eye contact with the camera, but I gotta iron this nice here shirt. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow for my video. It's a nice shirt. I think I've only worn it like four times. It's been in the bottom of my closet for months and I it's like, oh, I guess I do own this shirt. <laughs> been ironing a lot of clothes today and I'm going through all my shirts and picking which ones I'm keeping and which ones I am throwing out because some of them have some pretty gnarly stains on them. Like this one I haven't worn. This one's actually from Hawaii. I got it on a trip when I went to Hawaii and I haven't worn it a ton. I don't know why. It's a nice shirt. I think it's because of the lip down here. You know, it's a little 
open for me. It's really fitting, which a good fitting shirt's always nice, but I like baggier clothes because of my insecurities about my body, so. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed today's Jurassic Park review. I appreciate you guys sticking in there with me. I know hearing from me daily is probably a bit of a, a strain on you guys, but I appreciate all your guys' love and support. And I will see you guys in a video in the near future. Peace out, guys.